Ben here with Southern Coin Hunter. We're going to do Group B now. Oh, I'm going to turn the light on. Yeah, we're going to do a Group B today. Next. Let's see. Try to get a recap. Where are we at? Uh, right now, Group A has the most copper. With 263.5 grams. Group B, 113. 15.7 group C was 157.3 grams so that's where we at and I'm gonna start off again like I did previously we're going to, this got two different types of rolls so we're gonna see what they do so we're gonna start off by weighing this first row and see where we go from there Okay, let me get to the computer. So there's one, twenty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, point one. I'll bring y'all back with the finals on this first row. Okay, here's the finals for the first row. We got one, twenty seventeen P. Let's see, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on this area. How well it shows up, 2017P. Found one wheat cent. And it's a 1946 Philly. And a total of five coppers. From a very nice, bright, and shiny 1980. That tells me that uh, leads me to believe somebody did a little, somebody dumped the penny dump collection or something, or something that bright and shiny. That's oh over what 40 something years old. So yeah, I was in I was in high school when this penny came out. So, yeah, I'll just pull this in here for the roundup. Then I'll take the wee penny out later. So it's going to the next row, and the skull just went off, as y'all saw. Thank you. Turn it back on. I got more down. Another one, 29.1. How much is that total? I need this total of six coppers. We'll total up to 2017 P's afterwards. So, once again, I'll bring you back in with the fines. Okay, what we found was a total of six copper cents. A very strange looking, see if I can find it. It's a 1975, see the 72. It looks like something was drug across it and maybe a strike through. I want to look at it better into scope. I'm going to do that later or something. Just very, very flat. Hard even relief on the obverse. This may be a die adjustment strike. Yeah. It's hard to tell. I'll have to look at it underneath the scope. I can figure that out later. So altogether, we got six coppers on that row also, just like the last one that weighed 129.1. So this is me hitting the scale so I don't go off again. So actually, I'm going to pull that one off to the side to look through, see what I'm going to do with it. I did a final way up with the copper. I just set it off to the side of the cup. So on to the next row.
128.3. And go up and over for the count. So once again, now if I do see something nice like this 2021, and I'm saving those. It's just a piece of dirt. I'm putting those in a little zippy. Cause some of them have been great, pretty darn good lately and people are paying some big money for some of them. So, let me get on with the hunt on this road, bring y'all back with the finds. Okay, gonna bring y'all back in. We found a 1982 D small date zinc 1217P. Now, I'm not keeping track of those. I'm telling you what I find on those 82s. And we got the early uh, early year of 2009 of Lincoln. New cabin. And we got a total of five coppers. Including this nice red brown 1977. Some scratches here and there, nothing on submit for grading, but nice just to have because of the cut because of the toning on it. So put them over here, those two heavy corroded zinc scents, zinc waste, I call them. I mean, there's to return it to the bank because they won't go to the to the uh, coin counting machine. So on to the next row. So we had five. Put the five in here. We got one twenty five point eight. I'm not expecting much out of these. Maybe one or two coppers, that's going to be about it. Here's my weedy. So, I'll bring you back in on it after the next uh, finds. Okay, on row four, we got one of the early year coins, 2009. It is the cabin. And there's supposed to be some doubling on there. I have yet to figure out where the doubling's supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be on some of the logs. I got to find that. So, we're going to put that one with... See where's this group here? We got five coppers, including one badly chewed up copper scent. So let's go into row five. Oh, the scale was off. Uh, Y'all hear Blue Ridge Silverhound in the background on YouTube right now. So let's see what we got. 127.6. So once again, I'm going to pause the video. I'm bringing it back in with the finds. Okay, bring y'all back in. We got two 2017 P's. One starting to turn to brown. May have some zinc rot. I don't know yet. I'm just going to hold on to it for a little bit. May keep it in a separate baggie or something to see how it progresses. I put it to scope to get the mint mark off of it. We got two coppers. A 1978D.
And this is a 1960 large date. Well, one way you can tell is the gap between the numbers is a lot smaller on a large date. Small date, they're further apart. So, so I'm going to put two coppers in. So far, A is still winning with the most amount of coppers. I mean, just so y'all know, the ones when I pick out a coin, and this one I'm, I may just use it as an album. I look for no scratches, no any blotching or water washing marks from the mint. So I don't pull out that many. I just pull out, right now I'm up to two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten of them I pulled out. Some are the shield and some are the memorial. So let's wait up the next row and bring it back out for the next five. Oop. One twenty nine point two. So let me open up this row and bring you back in with the fines. Okay, on that row, five. All we got was six coppers. I mean, this is like row B where a couple of rows that we get none at all. So band's coming off and we're going to weigh it up One twenty-seven point nine. let me see if we get it more centered up So once again, I'll bring you back in with the fines. Okay, now I must report we got four coppers. Since on this my row seven, um, row seven. A two large date. Go back about three or four videos that I did, uh, maybe uh, a couple weeks ago, I explained the larger date and small date on 82 coins. That's when I can't get a date on it. The only way I knew it was a copy because I weighed it. Another 82 Philly large date. And 64D. So that's where we at. We got 182 zinc, 417 piece, and two Kent and two Lincoln uh, anniversary the the log cabin. So let's go ahead to the next row. Let's see if it'll stand up. 127.8. I'll bring you back in with the fines. Well, all we got out of that was three coppers. So, let's go into the cup. Then way up the next row. Continue with the hunt. So, 128.6.
So what it looks like is that the lower the weight, <coughs> the less copper we get. So I'm going to bring y'all back in after the fines on this one. Okay, on uh, this batch we got four coppers. We got three seventeen P's. And we got a two thousand nine presidential year coin. This is a Denver. So now we have to oh I missed a dirty dirty one. Oh, 64. Sorry about that. Make that five coppers. I had them all. It's really a dirty one. So those have been our finds so far. We got one more row left and here we go. Nope, we gotta turn the scale back on. I also got one of these coppers is a 1969 D. So I'm going to work on it, see if I clean it up. It may be floating in the roof, but I'm not sure yet. Every now and then I find one of those. So I'm going to just off to the side and the scope so I know that it's got some crud on it. I might be able to get off with the toothpick, I think. So, you know, what did I weigh this at? Uh, 129.4. And y'all know the drill. I'm going to bring y'all back in with the finds. Okay, and on this row we got six coppers. Also, So it's, and two 2017 P's. Went out and two good, must got some sticky stuff on it. Let's see if I get it off. So, met up with 10 2017 P's. Three of the Lincoln and the and the bicentennial pennies, and so far up to four wheats. I should to put that down here. So now comes the fun part: you get to weigh all this up. So, total 145 grams in copper. And the total count, let me copy the formula over.
Hey, give me a second. I'm trying just a formula to get the total. So that's 48 coppers total. Now, I did put the 145 and one look at better need the scope. I need the cup to weigh it. You tell it's changed from 141.9. So that's it for row D. And we do row E later on. Y'all have a good day. Happy 4th of July.